Hi, it's Magdalena here with Intentional Mondays. I've decided to launch this project because intentions is an incredibly powerful tool which I think most of us undermine. My experience with intentions started about 15 years ago when I went for yoga class and the teacher asked, what is your intentions before you start the class? And she gave a couple of examples and I chose to be really kind and gentle to my body. And oh my God, what a different experience it was from the regular yoga class when I want to go in there and work out and get pissed off when I'm not as good as the person next to me. The amount of shift that it created just to connect to my feeling, to a new feeling, was just quite incredible. Intentional Mondays are about that. It's about you sending an attention that connects directly to your feeling. How do you want to feel for that particular week? This feeling is going to translate to a, a series of actions that you're going to be absolutely enjoying and it's going to help you with your healing process. You might be wondering, what is a healing coach? What is a nutrition coach? doing talking to you about intentions it's such an emotional thing after all well there is no such thing as healing with food and nutrition alone you can be doing a gluten-free diet at the same time be incredibly stressed out or not really liking who you are and that's not gonna heal the healing process in fact whenever i see people who don't heal very well it's typically because of emotional issues so back to intentions i want to give you an example of how this could unfold for instance, you might decide that this week you want to be feeling really nourished. That's your intention for this week. So, intentional Mondays, you want to feel nourished. Now, imagine the next day you get a text message from your friend and says, let's go out for drinks. And this is your thinking process. Okay, so we're going to go out for drinks, I'm going to end up with a glass of wine, and then I'm going to have two glasses of wine. You're probably going to end up with three glasses of wine, and then this is going to result in nachos, which is all the cheese, which I can't do, but can't resist. Next morning you wake up and you feel hungover because you can drink as much as you used to when you were in your 20s and you need another coffee to pick you up and you know the coffee is not gonna agree with you very well. Can you see how this is just completely going out of hand? Now, another way of approaching this is, is to say, I honor my intention for this week, which was I want to feel nourished. Imagine responding to this friend and saying, you know what, why don't we go and grab a tea down the road today, keep that drinking part maybe for the weekend, and then have a walk in the park after this. Can you see how differently this whole thing unfolds and the result that it's going to create? You're not saying no to a friend, but just the outcome is going to be so different. That's what I'm talking about, intentions just being so powerful and creating a cascade of different events that's going to be a very, have a very different impact on your life. Another intention would be, well, I want to feel good. And so I got off gluten because I want to feel good. Instead of going to starting the day or going to an event and saying, damn, I have to be off gluten. Everyone here is eating gluten and they seem to be okay. But you don't know whether they are okay. And that creates a sense of anger and disappointment and shame when you do eat gluten. And that is, those are such toxic emotions that are only gonna be creating more cortisol release, which is a stress hormone that's gonna be undermining every hormonal balance in your body. So one of the beautiful things about setting intentions is the clear actions that are gonna result from that. But also there's a saying when the intentions are clear, the mind starts thinking, the eye starts seeing, and the ears start hearing. Things that you've always wanted. Things just start happening. And I've experienced it myself over and over again, and that's one of the reasons why I really wanna share this with you. I started Intentional Mondays because I want to help you and inspire you to get on the healing journey on the right foot by setting your intentions. I'm gonna be creating videos every Sunday so I can publish them on Monday, hopefully every week. We'll see how that goes. That's gonna be my intention to try to do that. And by you seeing that, that's gonna keep me accountable to my intentions. So my question for you today is, what is your intention for this week? And after this, I recorded my first video and I wanna share with you what were my intentions and how they make me feel. Hello from the San Francisco Farmer's Market. So part of Intentional Mondays, I wanted to share with you what my intention is for this coming week. And I've decided to go with going really, really local. And you might think, oh my gosh, what's the big deal about local? And I've heard all about it. I gotta go to, I should be buying local, should be supporting local trade, local farmers. And all of that is good, but honestly, many of us kind of forget about that or wonder really what's there for me in doing that. And I wanted to share a story with you of something that happened to me 10 years ago and that has changed my life forever the way I saw 
eating local food versus buying food from outside. I used to do a lot of competitive running and we used to go out on Saturdays uh, in the afternoon running with a bunch of people and whenever I had friends coming in from overseas and mind you this was in Malaysia, tropical country um, and the runs would typically be taking us through beautiful jungles of Malaysia, uh, plantations, rubber plantations, uh, pineapple orchards, um, mango tree orchards, I mean you name it, it was just inc absolutely incredible. And whenever I had a friend coming from overseas, I would say, well, do you want to go out and see the city or do you want to go out there and see the jungle? And most of my friends would be adventurous and choose the latter. And, you know, it happened consecutively three times where every time I had a friend coming with me, he or she would have a bit of cuts, you know, on their hands and arms and one friend had a cut on her chin, uh, cheek. And um, every time, every one of them ended up with a humongous infection. And you're talking about dealing with it for two weeks with a series of antibiotics. And that was baffling to me. And, and obviously, I felt incredibly responsible and very, very um, bad for doing this. And so I went to see a naturopathic doctor. And she told me something that I will not forget for the rest of my life. She said to me, make sure when your friends come over to a new environment like Malaysia, a tropical country from Western countries, Make sure they eat local food and drink local water in order to build up their immune system to be able to deal with the local antigens. And oh my gosh, and this was, it was such an aha moment for me because really the key takeaway from this is this, local food helps your immune system. That's really what helps you build your immune system. That's how your body builds up its own antigen, res resistance to antigens that are locally based. And so if you have a choice between buying some very, very exotic honey from Zimbabwe versus having a choice of buying honey from just from your neighborhood, whether it's Maine on the East Coast or whether you're in California, and just because it doesn't sound as exotic, always go for the local food. It's good for you, it's good for the farmer who really puts a lot of work into, um, into producing that amazing food that we get to eat. So that's my intention for this coming week, supporting local food and local trade as much as possible. And I'd love to hear from you on Facebook and our um, comments down below on what are the things that you would want to do this coming Monday for your intentions. And if this is something that inspires you to go local, then what would, we, how would, it, what would it look like for you to go local? All right, bye for now and I'll see you next Monday.